You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettes out there in Gwinnett land and all of my friends around the world. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's a rainy day here in Georgia. And it's so funny, right? Because I'm sitting in my office and I have the blinds open and I'm looking at my microphone, which is metal, and I'm thinking about the blinds. And as I was getting ready to close the blinds, I realized I was going to run out of time before the intro played. And I'm thinking, because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of lightning. So I'm looking like, okay, when I go to a song, I have got to close my blinds because I'm looking at my microphone and all I see is like this big metal piece right here that I feel like will attract lightning. But anyway, it's a rainy day here in Georgia, 70 degrees going up to a high of 75 and it's going to rain all day long. Oh, and I have to go out today. Like today I have to go out. I have a potluck. I have a meeting at, at three o'clock. Then I have a potluck with the Gwinnett Women's Chamber at six o'clock. I have a day to, and I hate being in the rain, y'all. I do not like being in it. Some people love the rain. They love being in the rain. I don't, I'm not one of those people. I do not like being in the rain. So when I woke up, it wasn't raining. When I came into the studio, it's raining. I'm like, ugh, I hate being in the rain, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I got to suck that junk up and keep it moving. Anyway, hope your day has started out bright and sunshiny. Mine has not, but I won't complain. Not at all. Um, today is June the 14th. Yes, Wednesday, June the 14th. Listen, baby, you have made it to the middle. It is hump, did it dump, did it dump, dump day, hump day. You have made it to the middle on, on only two more days before the weekend. You're almost there. You are almost there. It's also Falkland, um, it's also, it's also Army, the Army's birthday. Yeah, it's the Army's birthday. I guess the Army was born. The Army, the U.S. Army was born on June 14th. This is the birthday for the Army. So shout out to all the men and women who serve our nation in the Army. Um, it's also Falkland Islands Liberation Day. Falkland Islands Liberation Day. It's Flag Day as well. Flag Day. International Bath Day. <laughs> like somebody like that should be a day every day, shouldn't it? Not everybody take baths though. So today is International Bath So if you don't take baths, take a bath today for International Bath Day. All right? It's also monkey around day. So if you just want to have some fun today, I don't know how much fun you can have in the rain, but if you like it, go ahead and do your thing. It's National Bourbon Day. Somebody's saying that's every day for me, Audrey. Yes, yeah, for those of you who like bourbon, now listen here now, drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. I know it's National Bourbon Day, but you need to drink responsibly. National New Mexico Day. National New Mexico Day. National Pop Goes the Weasel Day. Yes, Pop Goes. That's a, that's a children's um, I think that was like a children's song, a children's show or something. Pop Goes the Weasel. National Strawberry Shortcake Day. I actually like strawberry shortcake because stra the strawberries aren't cooked up. Let me say that. I don't like cooked up fruit. Give me my fruit fresh. I will eat strawberry shortcake because the fruit is not cooked. Um, National World Donor Day, World World Blood Donor Day, World Blood Donor Day. So if you want to do some, give some blood today, go ahead and knock yourself out, give some blood. All right, all right. That's all of the national days I got for you today. Let's keep this train rolling so we can get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Michael Thyssen, and my computer just froze. What is going on? Here we go. Here we go. Listen, sometimes technology, babies, technology. We're going to give me these horoscopes brought to you. Did I just say that? Brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen for the day Wednesday, June the 14th, hump day. We're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Be careful that you don't overextend yourself. You may find that coworkers will support your endeavors. Your professional attitude will not go unnoticed. All right, look, don't overextend yourself, Aries. You got your coworkers. They got your back today. That's good. And your professional attitude is definitely being noticed. So keep it up. Keep up the good work. All right? Gemini, talk to those in position of power about your intentions. Avoid purchasing expensive items. Take part in stimulating debates that will allow you to show off your intelligence. All right, look, look, Gemini, they want to show off how smart you are today. It's okay. Now, I know some of us don't like to toot our own horns about how smart we are, and then there are others of us who are just narcissists, and they don't mind telling you how smart they are. Even when deep down inside, you know they really aren't. Today, Gemini, you can tell them how smart you are. Show off your, show off your intelligence today. You can do that. 
Um, cancer, don't be shy to promote your own interests. Be prepared to make changes to your personal documents. You will profit from home improvement projects and real estate deals. All right, look at you. All right, so you're going to profit from real estate deals and home improvement today, Cancer. In the meantime, don't be shy to promote your own interests. Don't. I was in, I, um, I had a meeting yesterday. It was pretty nice, too. Um, I just, you know, I'm not a salesperson. I suck at sales. I, I suck at sales. And I realized, um, that the person I talked to did not suck at sales. She was amazing at sales. And I was like, I need to go get some sales training because I, I suck when it, when it's time to promote me, I'm terrible promoting other folks and their ideas and what they're doing. I'm great, but promoting myself, I'm terrible. I listen, I know my weaknesses. I have no qualms about sharing what they are because I want to get better. And the first, the first part to getting better it's admitting that there is an issue and I suck at sales. Now I'm going to risk, I'm going to change the phrasing on that because I know what you say has power. I am a great salesperson. I am wonderful at sales. I sell, sell, sell. Okay. That's my rephrasing for the day. Leo, changes in your residence will be favorable in the long haul. You'll have to take hold of your life and make some crucial decisions. Property investments should pay off. All right, you got some investments in property today, Leo? Leo, they're going to pay off for you. Yes, they're going to pay off. Yep. You have to take hold of your life and make some crucial decisions. That It's your life, baby. You got to take control of that. You have to make the decisions about your life. Not other folks, Leo. It's up to you. All right, Virgo. Don't hesitate to visit someone who hasn't been feeling well. You can make money through your own creative efforts. Your emotional state could leave you vulnerable and confused. All right, listen, if you're having a problem today, Virgo, talk to somebody. Um, confusion is a paralyzing condition. It is confusion. I call it a condition because it is sometimes. When you can't think yourself straight, when you can't think outside of the box, when you can't think past the moment, confusion sets in, it can be paralyzing. So, Virgo, if you need help with something, if you're stuck, if you're confused, talk to somebody. Find somebody that you can trust that you can get good advice from and talk to that person. And if you can't find somebody, there are some wonderful resources online where you don't even have to know the person. You can go online, find a mental health professional that you can talk to and they don't, they don't know you. So they're not going to judge you. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after this song and bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer, Micah Thais and stay tuned. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been Yes, I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I. Something different and it had to be you I don't the blue 
show i like that song had to be you i'm over here singing had to be you i needed something different oh yeah i'm not gonna mess the song up it's your girl audrey bell kearney bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer michael thighs i'm gonna pick it up with libra opportunities for new partnerships will develop through organizations you encounter you would get along well if your colleagues with your colleagues today problems with in-laws may cause friction in your personal relationship all right now listen here you're gonna get you're gonna get along well with your colleagues but in your in-laws that's another story oh just be respectful that's all i can say to that just be respectful opportunities for new partnerships will develop through organizations you encounter yes that's a good thing at least something good is coming out today libra your in-laws your colleagues gonna be good the in-laws though and i don't know about that one be respectful Scorpio, consider starting a small business on the side. Look for marketable gimmicks. Hard work will pay off if you refrain from expressing your opinion to superiors. Mm. You may have problems at work with female coworker with a female coworker. All right, look, I don't like the part about a marketable gimmick. I don't like that part. However, I do like consider starting your own business on the side, a small business on the side. I do like that, right? So here's the thing, Scorpio. Whatever I say this all the time. You probably heard me say it yesterday. Whatever you're going to do, make sure it's something that you're going to enjoy doing. That at the bottom, because that when you stop enjoying it, you're not going to do anything. Let me tell you something. I had to go through something yesterday, and I know you can just look at how bad it was. Like, I had to review something yesterday, and you can just look at how many, how many mistakes there were to know that that person just really don't like doing that. And instead of the person saying, I don't want to do that, they didn't, and they made a ton of mistakes to the point where I was so frustrated I just got away from my computer and went to bed. Like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave this for them to fix. Because it was so many errors. But that shows that that person really did not want to do something. And instead of saying, I don't want to do that, they did not. And here's what happens. It looks bad on you. So whatever you do, whatever business you decide you want to do, Scorpio, make sure it's something you're going to enjoy. Sometimes you just have to put your hands down because it's not something that you should be a part of. It's that simple. It's not something that you should start. Yeah, you can make... You know how many businesses I started because I was following people talking about making a lot of money? Or I don't... I, I never started something because I didn't want to be left out. That's not why I started stuff. I wanted to be... I wanted to make a lot of money. So mostly everything I did was because I want to make a lot of money. And so people showed me all these things that make me a lot. And I jump in and then I get in there and I hate it. Now, there are some people who just don't want to be left out of nothing. And then they raise their hands and then work has to be done and they do hard work. Don't do that. Whatever you're going to do, make sure it's something that you can be passionate about. And, 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 and here's the thing. Sometimes you have to say, you know what? Let me see can I find me a partner to work with. But here's the thing. If you are going to do that, you need to be responsible for the part that you're going to do. And if they're good at running a business and you're good at drawing the pictures, that's a great thing. But somebody got to be good at running the business. And, and, and it's going to be very important. So think about that. Now, before you jump into a partnership, please do your due diligence about that. Because that could be a mess. I'm just saying. Sagittarius. Although it does look promising, be careful not to overextend yourself or you will lose in the long run. Don't lend or borrow money today or belongings. Don't be too hard on yourself. Listen, Sagittarius, show yourself some grace. That's all I'm going to say to that. I ain't going to even talk about the rest of that stuff. Don't be so hard on yourself today. Show yourself some grace. You deserve grace. Just like you give grace to everybody else, Sagittarius, you deserve some yourself. So, sh- so show yourself some. All right? Capricorn, finish those changes you've been te- talking about making in your residence, to your residence. Make some notes regarding the changes that should you should make. Um, changes to your home are apparent, and you must be willing to bend if you don't want to find yourself alone. All right, listen, you got to bend a little. You got to give a little to get a little Capricorn. I know you can be real stubborn, but here's the thing. If you don't want to find yourself by yourself, you might want to bend just a little bit. I'm sorry, just a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to be by yourself and you're going to be standing straight up alone. (laughs) I'm just saying, that's what the horoscopes are telling you. I'm just reiterating that. Aquarius, don't give up what you have until you can get, until you can be certain uh, just what it is you're getting. Do your homework. If you can, 
Someone may be trying to make you look bad. You will get bored quickly, so make sure you have scheduled enough activity to hold your interest. All right, you could get bored really quickly. Yeah, just find something else to do, Aquarius, that's all. Schedule things that you like to do that's going to make you happy so you don't get bored. That's what you do. It's a rainy day here in Georgia. Read a book. I'm saying because it's raining all over all over Georgia. No, it may not be raining all over Georgia because Georgia is one of them states. I've never seen anything like that. When I was in Jersey, I don't remember it raining on, on your town and not raining on mine. When it rained, it rained. Not here in Georgia. It could literally, I have been on a highway where it was raining. It was sunshiny where I was coming from and I drove right into a storm. I'm like, what the what? So it's weird like that. Anyway. All right, last but not least, my fav- my, my my fellow fish, Pisces. Woo, okay, look. Look what they're saying about us today, fish. We're going to, we're going to, this is not going to happen. It says, you won't be able to keep a secret. Oh, we, I hope it's a good secret, like a big money secret. Then I probably won't. Don't overspend to impress someone who interests you. Your talents may be, may, might just be discovered. All right, listen. I know they listen, fish. They going to discover you today. Today is the day you will be discovered. Your talents are going to be discovered today. I know you've been waiting for somebody to discover them. In the meantime, don't try to overspend to impress somebody. Let me tell you something. How you get them is how you got to keep them. So if you out there trying to show off because you want to impress that person, yeah, remember, you got to keep impressing that person. So what I would suggest to you, fish, is be your real authentic self. And if they can't like you for that person, then that's not the person for you. I don't care how cute he is and how cute she is, not the one for you. Be you. Because how you get them is going to be how you got to keep them. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, listen, you won't be able to keep a secret today. I don't know what kind of secret that's going to be. Like I'm trying not, not so out of everything that was said, I want to know what the secret is. I hope it's a money secret, like a big that and money coming to me. Let me say that money coming to me. I'm not knocking anybody else's money, but I'm just saying, all right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again at 10 AM tomorrow to bring you more of the horoscopes. Let's get on to some news you can use. So last week, um, Governor Kemp had released a $83.5 million federal grant and it's going to support um, 118 public safety measures and addressing staffing changes that arose during the pandemic. Um, this is going to help because right now we have a huge increase in crime all of, not, not just the country, but in our state as well. And one of the things that we know we need more of is more staffing so we can make sure that our, that our state stays safe. All the residents of Georgia, all the Georgians stay safe and keep their neighborhoods safe. And to do that, Governor Kemp, um, has this federal grant for $83.5 million. Now, the largest grant was one, was for $1.65 million. That went to Athens, Clark, Columbus, and Henry County Police Departments, the DeKalb County School District, and Georgia Piedmont Technical College. They got $1.5, $1.6 million to help them with their efforts. So education and safety, top priority. So I got to give Governor Kemp his shout out, his kudos for that because, listen, nobody wants to not feel safe where they live, shop, play, work. We don't want to feel unsafe. We want to feel safe where we are. And so the fact that he's putting more people on the streets to make sure that happens, got to give him his, listen, give, give flowers with flowers are due. I may not agree with everything he does, but listen, safety and education, top of my priority list. I'm just saying, I am just saying. Hey, listen, you need some free mulch? Yes, free mulch is out there. Thanks to our street and sanitation crew and you, tree limbs collected throughout the week are mulched and developed and are available for pickup from um, on Fridays at 7.30, from 7.30 to 3.30 p.m. And you can pick that up at 460 Paper Mill Road in Lawrenceville. Yeah, so you got you need some mulch for your yard. I should have... I need to go get some free mulch. Yeah, I had to... We, <laughs> Ooh, the housing, the housing, uh, housing association sent me a, uh, a citation, right? And I'm like, what the heck they send me a citation for talking about the yard? And I was like, I know they ain't talking about my yard. Cause my husband get out there and cut that yard nicely all the time. Well, the mulch in the yard needed to be turned. I'm like, what the? What does that mean? Because that's what I really wanted to say. Well, every fall and every spring, you have to turn the mulch. because it. So the mulch is in the yard, but they want the mulch to look fresh and clean. I was like, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be joking me. Anyway, to avoid the citation, guess what we did? We turned the mulch. As a matter of fact, we went and bought new mulch. However, now that I know we can go pick up some free mulch, I think I'm going to go pick up some free mulch on Friday. 
because uh, come fall, we're going to have to turn the mulch again. Yeah. Yeah. So free mulch Fridays and I got to go, I'm going to go pick up some. So if you want to pick up some free mulch for your yard, so your housing association don't send you a citation. Cause I was like, when I got the citation in the email, I'm like citation. I was like ticked off and I was like, why not your yard? So, so apparently the, the housing, the uh, neighborhood inspector, he drives around and look at people's yard. Now I know if I got a citation, there are some folks in the community. Ooh, they probably got a bunch of them. Because their yard was horrific. I'm talking about weeds and grew up to the front door like horrific. My mulch need to be turned. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But anyway, at first I was mad. But I was like, you know what? I'm not mad because you want to live in an association where they want you to take pride. We thought we were doing a great job with our yard. But now we know that every fall and every spring we have to turn the mulch. I did not know that. I was like, it's mulch down there. The yard is cut. It looks nice. Yeah, but we got to turn the mulch. Anyway, if you need some mulch, again, you can pick it up Fridays from 7.30 to 3.30. And that's located at 460 Paper Mill Road in Lawrenceville. So go on over there and pick you up some mulch because you know you want some too. You do. Go on, get yours. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right, listen. Listen. City of Lawrenceville, summer school is in session. So we need you to stay alert during the summer school hours and help keep our roads safe. Summer school photo enforcement hours are in effect starting um, from now to June the 30th. So if you are out there and, and you're doing something wrong, you going this school is in. So be careful about that. Keep the road safe. All right. Um, July 5th for high school. So let me see. It says school is in now through June 30th for elementary and Wednesday, June 5th for high school. So for elementary students, school is in. So be, watch the roads. And that's from really from July, from June, from now until July 5th, right? Summer school would not be in session on June 19th and July 4th. So June 19th, no summer school. July 4th, no summer school course. Um, during this time, driver speeding 11 miles per Listen, if you are speeding 11 plus miles per hour over the marked speed limit, you're going to get a ticket. Yep, you're going to get a ticket. They are warning you not to do that. You are going to get a ticket. Just know that. All right? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. I was living in the clouds, yeah, like a million explosions. Whatever happened to the picture, the one where you and I were perfect. Like if heaven was a time lapse, play the story where we'd end up. Would you pause it for a second before this thing was over? Before this thing is over Would you come a little
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So, um, State Representative Jasmine Clark is going to be doing a virtual talk, and she's going to be talking about... Um, She's going to be talking about Medicaid, you know, Medicaid redetermination. There are a lot of people who don't understand Medicaid. They don't understand Medicaid redetermination. So anyway, Gwinnett County residents who have questions about Medicaid eligibility redetermination process will have a chance to learn more about it uh, this week. So it's going to happen at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday. It's going to be via Zoom, so you don't have to leave your house, so don't worry about that. It says, right now, due to the recent changes at the federal level, the state is required to redetermine eligibility for approximately 2.7 million Medicaid and Peachtree Care Kid members. Yeah, yeah, 2.7 million. So what does that mean? That's really important. So if anyone wants to learn how to learn more about that, I'm going to drop a link inside the show notes so you can register for this event so you don't miss it. So if you know someone, if you're on Medicaid or you know someone on Medicaid who could really use this information, this is a great opportunity for them to do so. So um, I'm going to drop the information inside of the show notes once the show is over so you can find out more about what that means, um, the redetermination, what that actually means. So I think that's going to be helpful. All right, Peachtree Corner has a new grocery store. Listen, we got a lot of folks here in Gwinnett County. The more grocery stores you need, you got to serve all these people. Anyway, <clears throat> it's called Taupa Super Mercados. This is the Peachtree Corner newest grocery store, and you won't be disappointed. That's what they're saying. I haven't been there yet, but it seems like they got some good stuff. And I'm thinking it's a Spanish store. Now, I can tell you this. Like, I go to a lot of stores. <clears throat> what I find is that stores like Super Mercado have better selection of fruits. I'm just saying... Um, better selection of fruits, um, less expensive pricing, and, uh, and a lot of this stuff is fresh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So you might want to check out Super Mercados. I'm going I'm to check it out. Again, that's in Peachtree Corner, so check it out. I know people are looking like, what? Yeah, I've been to some of these stores, and I'll tell you right now, they got some... We go, my husband and I go, and we, they got the best fruits. They got a huge variety of fruits at some of these stores that we've never even seen before or tasted before. So, yeah, that's all I'm, listen, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, looking for something to do tonight, Trivia Night, is going to be going out at Social Fox Brewery. So, if you're looking for something to do, check that out. Now, tomorrow, you got Sister Act at the Aurora Theater happening. There is a certification, CPR certification class happening tomorrow at uh, at GJAC, which is the Gwinnett Justice and Administration Building. Um, that's located at 75 Langley Drive in Lawrenceville, and that's going to happen at 9 a.m., if you want free outdoors fitness, Fitness 108 at um, Mark Buckhalter a Theater in Newton. How did I get on my schedule? Like, that shouldn't even be on my schedule. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That shouldn't even be on my schedule. Anyway, tomorrow also, there's a virtual health series, and it's, they're going to focus on healthy brain. And again, that's going to be at um, 75 Langley Drive in Lawrenceville, and that's going to happen at 12 p.m. Then tomorrow evening, Beats on the Streets, downtown Lawrenceville in the DTL. I love when they say that. I was like, look at us, got a DTL. That's happening tomorrow at 5 p.m. downtown Lawrenceville. Um, Awaken within the artist reception. Awaken within the artist reception. That's going down tomorrow at Pickneyville Park, and that's at 630 if you can't find something to do here in Gwinnett County, baby, you a boring person. I'm just telling you the truth. You hear what I'm saying? Because it's always something to do here. Even if, even when the weather is bad, even when it's cold outside, there is something to do here in Gwinnett County. And if you can't find something, you might want to ask yourself just how boring you really are. Because that means you are boring. Speaking of things to do this evening, if you are a woman in business or not, you don't have to be a woman in business, but you want to come out and you want to hang out with us tonight, the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce is having this monthly potluck. Well, we get together and let our hair down for, for a couple of hours at 6 p.m. And we just like to have some fun. We just like to, you know, relax for a second because most of the time we're all busy either taking care of the family, running to our jobs, taking care of our businesses, you know, all of these things we do. Uh, and we just don't have a we don't have time out. So we put our own stuff in time out at least once a month and we call it potluck Wednesday time out where we bring a dish, some soda, some tea, some chips, whatever you want to bring, just something to, to, to add to the table so we can get together and have a, a great evening of just hanging out together and like talking about things that you normally don't get a chance to talk about as it pertains to not only business, but just to life in general. So if you are a woman and you want to join us, it's happening this Wednesday 
today, 6 p.m., we're going to be at the Life Event Center. Go to the GwinnettWomensChamber.com to look, look for the address. I always forget the address, and I don't want to tell y'all the wrong address. Y'all be looking up and down. What I can tell you, it's in the little plaza right next to the Speedway on Sugarloaf Parkway. So you know what Speedway is on Sugarloaf Parkway? There is a cigar thing there, edible fruits is there. It's in that same parking lot right there with edible fruits. So if you want to join us, we invite you to join us. Sorry, guys, this is for the ladies only. Time out for the ladies because we need to let our hair down and we need to speak in a speak in a in a in a in a nurturing environment that's private. Whatever happens inside that community tonight stays inside that community. So no 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 disrespect. It's just it's for the ladies tonight. All right? All right. All right, I'm gonna go to my last song, then I'm gonna come back and give you my words of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for it today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. I thought this was a real good one. So I think all of them are good, but this was, this was pretty cool. All right, here it goes. It says, not having a goal is more to be feared than not reaching one. Oh, let me say it again. Not having a goal is more to be feared than not having a goal, not having one. That is so true. Here's the thing, right? If you don't have a goal, what, what exactly are you doing in life? Are you just, are you, you're not living. You just kind of just, just rolling through life because you, you want to have some goals, a goal for something. Some people say my only goal right now is just to get up out the bed and go to work. And if that's your goal and that's your goal, but I will, I will, I will say to you, set a new goal. Think about something that you really want to do. Here's the thing about that, right? Is it going to be hard work? Probably. 
but you you will enjoy the journey so much more. Yes, you'll probably be stressed out sometimes, but the journey. You know how many journeys I take myself on? How many goals I set for myself? Now, here's the thing. Some of them make me pull my hair out. Some of them make me think, why did you even start to do that in the first place? But but at least I have some. And if I fall on my face and don't reach them, then I don't reach them. But at least I have some. My, my, my challenge to you today is set a goal to do something. You're going to enjoy the journey. Yes, it's going to be challenging, but that's what life is about, right? Yes, you're going to want to quit and fall on your face, and some of you just may. But guess what's going to happen? If you don't quit, don't fall on your face, and you reach that goal, oh my God, how proud of yourself will you be? Whenever I set a goal and I reach it, I am ecstatic about my, my accomplishment. I am. Now, there are goals that I've set for myself that are so bodacious, audacious, so it's like, oh my God, the audacity you to set such a high goal, right? But if I reach that goal, oh my, this is my good friend Lamar Clark can say, oh my gracious. He said that and I'd be cracking up. I was like, oh my gracious. Oh my gracious. If you hit that big audacious goal that you set for yourself, oh my gracious, how nice that is. Whenever I do something and I hit it, I'm excited. There are times that I, I said to myself, why did I set this goal? Oh my goodness, this is driving me insane. However, when I hit the mark though, I'm bouncing around here like, oh my goodness, I hit the goal. Oh my goodness. You know, and I'm doing like the little, like I'm about to do a fight. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing. So here's my thing, guys. Set a goal for yourself. Set a small goal. If you're scared to set goals because you think you're going to fail, you just may fail. But so what? If you fail, you fail. At least you tried. Set a goal, set a small goal, start with a small goal, accomplish that goal, then set a new goal, and then a new goal, and then a new goal, and then a new goal. And guess what? You'll get into the habit of setting new goals. And the more you set, the more you will achieve. Yeah, some of them are going to fall. They're going to fall by the wayside, and that's okay. But you're going to set these goals, and you're going to hit them. You're going to hit some of them. And that, and that's, that's a good thing. You're going to feel amazing when you do. You really are. Trust me when I tell you. All right, that's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 38 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. If you missed any episodes of the show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there, and also be sure to connect with me on social media, uh, Facebook, Good Morning Gwinnett, Instagram, Good Morning Gwinnett. That's where you will find me. And be sure to go to the website and check out all of our great articles there, and, and subscribe to our newsletter. Yep, subscribe to the newsletter. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m., God willing. You guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.